Moin Leute, hallo wieder am Start today. I got some crazy ass heat for you today. I got some great videos. Coming right from the beach. Costa Rica. Pretty fucking awesome, man. I got some great stuff to show you, man. Look at this. That's not for me, by the way. You guys know my man, Bannstreifen zu Hacker. You guys all know him, you guys all love him, I hope. He actually hit rank 1. That's not it. He actually... Kept rank 1. <laughs> in the last few days. This man is literally by far the best player in the world. Look at this. Look at this man. Like he's been literally unable to play Pokemon. Because he did not find any opponents for the last few days. He is that good, man. You know what the craziest thing is? Today. I'll show you guys the team that he built. And I will give you guys the rental and the paste. You can try it yourself. I have definitely tried it. I've been very successful with it. I don't want to spoil too much because I have some videos planned. <laughs> yeah. It's not that easy to take me down, as you guys know. So, we're gonna pump out some insane fucking content today. I got a big message from my man Randstreifen the Hacker. The best player in the world. Messaged me. Alright, and told me, bro, this is how I, this is how I build the team. So, today, the roles are reversed. Today, I'm not teaching him how, how he builds teams, uh, how I build teams. No, today, he's teaching me how I build teams. But first, Look at the team. So we got Ndidi and Armor Rouge for some good Trick Room options. And then we got Urshifu for Water to make use of a Trick Room and to be able to knock out things like uh, Chin Pao. We got Landorus in order to have something that can help us beat Chiyu and Futterman. We got Scoplins Reggie Drago in order to beat things like Dondoso and also to sweep on a Trick Room. Last but not least, we got Ogre, Ogre Pawn for these annoying ass grass types and also for Pokemon like Heatwin that completely wall things like Reggie Drago and Armor Wush, which is a really good core under Trick Room, right? So, let's get right into it. How did he do it, man? How did he do it? Well, let's go to the message. So, he always wanted to have something with Flash Fire, so that way you can beat Torque, and he also wanted to have something against Dondoso. So, he built a team with like Reggie Drago and Substitute and Fallen Puff Amoongus with like a Terra Poison set, like Substitute, wait, Substitute, yeah. But that didn't really work, so he like scrapped that idea. And then he like used Torkoal because, um, or Heatran, but <laughs> like Heatran is pretty bad without Terra, is what he says. So he threw out, like, out, threw, threw out Amoongus, and then he put in Ndidi as like a redirection user. So he had like Hatterene, Gardevoir, but like nothing really worked because he needed White Guard. So he put in like Armor Rouge because like Ursaluna and Dondozo often time spam off track and that makes it really difficult to set up track room, right? So he thought like, alright, I already got Ndidi, might as well just put in Armor Rouge, you know? <laughs> He says it's in a pretty funny way, by the way, but yeah. So, so the first place he like sent to me was like armor rush of like Terra Grass and Weakness Policy. Honestly, I wasn't a fan. Um, because you couldn't even like activate the Weakness Policy unless you had Lianorus. But um, it wasn't the right set, right? He didn't want, also, he didn't want to have two like fire types, so no Torkoal and armor rush in the same team. So, or Heatran, because when, and he didn't want to uh, put Heatran out of the team because then he would lose to Thuttermane and Chiyu, right? But he didn't stop believing in Reggie Drago. <laughs> so when there came a, there was a video that came out by James Speak with Focus Energy Reggie Drago, so he put that in, but that didn't have Dragon Energy, but he gave his Dragon Energy to sweep on a track room, right? Because that could be an answer to Dondozo. So, also, he put in Choice Band at Urshifu, however, that was Urshifu Dark. Because Wicked Blow, like, is really spammable under Trick Room. And then he built his whole team around uh, Gidrago and Urshifu. Mm. And now, how do we use this team, man? So we got some lore 
I also got some of the old pastes right here. For example, this version had Reggie Alecki with white lens, really good. Then he had also, also had like Brute Bonnet and he had like other things as well. Like, uh, what else did he have? Brute Bonnet. Uh, Plutterman as well. Alright, so how do we actually use the team? Oftentimes it just leads, like, or most of the time it just leads indeed the armor rouge. And like, you have to go for Trick Room, right? So against Tornado's Butterman, his two in Arcanine, and all of his spread moves, you can just go for White Guard Trick Room. And then... Yeah, because Butterman is never gonna go for Shadow Ball in front of an Indeedee. Ashifu and Shimpao is a little bit of a gamble, because Shimpao could go for a Dark move. But you can, like, Terrestrialize Indeedee. Or you can just sacrifice Indeedee, and just go for Terror Psychic with Armor Rouge, because then Surging Strikes does not kill you. But that's a bit risky because you don't want to waste the terror on Indeedee because then it can be difficult to beat Flutterman uh, yeah, without the terror because Reggie Drago is completely walled by Flutterman and Armor Rouge cannot one-shot Flutterman, right? So that can be a bit difficult. So oftentimes the opponents will be Rillaboom for terrain control and you have to predict like where the opponent switches in Rillaboom and... Yeah, um, Exactly. And when Tornado's Urshifu, yeah, everyone switches out um, into Rilla and Surging Strikes into Indeedee. Uh, or they taunt with Tornado's. Also, Urshifu survives one Grassy Light even when Sword of Ruin is activated. Mm. And if the opponent doesn't have Tornado's, but he got Heat Twin, Rilla Boom, and Dragonite, then uh, uh, they oftentimes don't have speed investment, so Trick Room is a bit risky. But Tornadoes and Landorus are always, <laughs> always sus as a lead because they oftentimes are going to go for Bleakwind and Earthquake. The same is true for Dragonite and Tornadoes as a lead. So, yeah. So, if an opponent does not have Rillaboom but he has Shimpao, it's always Ice Spinner. Otherwise, always Icicle Crash. Also with Dragonite. If the opponent has Flutter Main and is through an Arcanine, you go for White Guard and Trick Room, and he would um, switch his through an Arcanine into Rilla because Arcanine is always banded. A Flutter Main and Heatwin. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Also, if the opponent has Flutter Main and Heatwin, never bring or he never brings Reggie Drago because um, if Heatwin Terra Fairies, like that's just way too risky, right? Instead, he uses Ogre Pawn. Ogapon beats Heatwin, Urshifu, and Rillaboom. Mm. And you have to think if you want to bring Reggie Drake or Urshifu. In, against Heart Trick Room, Indeedee and Armor Rouge. Um, yeah, and then you can reverse the Trick Room. And if you go, if your opponent have Torkel and Lilligant, always go Indeedee and Reggie Drago. If the opponent got Flutterman under Trick Room, then, uh, yeah. Um, when Indeedee and Armor Rouge is very safe. So against Indeedee, Tatsugiri, you need Trick Room. And that Dosa always goes for Earthquake, that's why you have Right Guard. Ashifu and Reggie Drago destroy Don Dozo. But Don Dozo can, can be Terra Fairy, and like, but Reggie Drago should live one order up. Shu and Flutterman is like a respective, uh, like, a lead you have to respect. So, what you can do is either go for White Guard, or you go like Ogre Pawn and to sneak a kill and set up Trick Room. But it depends um, if the opponent like doubles into land or Rosa goes for spread moves, right? So you so you can go like Armor Rouge plus Land Rose and go for White Guard. Or you can go like Ogre Pawn. So if the opponent has like a Grim Snarl, you always just go like Reggie Drago and focus energy next to Indeed. Yeah? So everything with Robbing Moon. We, like, if we, like, if the opponent's team has Growing Moon, we're gonna expect you to go into the Armor Rouge, and then he leads with Landorus Armor Rouge for Trick Room Pressure or Dra Reggie Drago to get some kills. Yes, sir. That is what my man said. <laughs> Huge shout out to my man. Hope you guys were able to follow. I will put the, put the message 
in the description and uh, you can Google Translate it to whatever language you're you're fluent in, but it's probably not gonna work. So yeah, and <laughs> that's the team breakdown for the best team in the fucking format. Un undisputed, undisputed best team in the format. So yeah, huge shout out <laughs> to my man. Who let's let's just this man is fucking insane, man. I love this guy. You know what I mean? Like damn. You know what's crazy? After he hit like rank one, you know, he was like, bro. Bro. Wait, let me find the messages actually. Uh, bro. Remember the first time I sent you my rental code? Like Chad Ninja and Luantis, I think, or what was it? Um Yeah yeah, Luantis, Luantis and Chad Ninja, good old times, you know. I was like bro, you came such a long way. And he was I'm so proud and he was like, Bro, honestly, you told me how to do team building and kayaks. I would never have come this far without you. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. So, guys, if you're not gonna get better at Pokemon, you know what to do. You know what to do. Make sure while you leave a like and like comment about how great I am. <laughs> I'm joking. Make sure to grab a team, try it out. Give some love to our boy. Anstreifen zu Hacker. And of course, hold on. Rein. Chill a bit on the beach, I guess, while you're at it. Or something, I don't know. You can't really see it, but. Also, I started to sweat a lot. Anyways, yeah, hold on. Show.